welcome to Tournamental, the podcast where we create a bunch of crazy characters and have them battle in a bunch of wacky rounds until there is only one champion. My name is Chris Nash, and I'm joined, as always, by my great pals, Russell Montgomery, <laughs> Jay Jameson, <laughs> and Cameron Hart. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good to, good to hear from you guys. <laughs> There's a passing <laughs> foghorn. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. Now I'm sure people will be able to differentiate between your voices <laughs> thanks to yeah. that intro. So, as always, uh, our episode of Tournamental is brought to you by a sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by Haruki Hashimoto's Authentic Hawaiian Board Shorts. Here's a testimony from Mr. Hashimoto himself. I like a board short. My wife, she like a board short. My daughter, she no like a board short. My son, he is in prison for murder. So there we have it. Oh. Oh, Haruki Hashimoto's... Uh, Board shorts, authentic oh. Hawaiian board shorts. They now come in a floral pattern as well. If you're curious, I don't know. I feel like that is, that is really, What's... really racist. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, nothing. Uh, nothing. It's I racist mean, for you... us to have a Japanese sponsor. I don't understand. No, no, no. Yeah, you're right. That's right. He was authentic Japanese. Well, he's authentic Japanese, but he's selling authentic Hawaiian board shorts. Don't be confused. Right. <laughs> right. Well, let's just get this tournament underway, shall okay. we? It's off to a, game. to a rocky start. Here. Well, Cameron, why don't you start us off with some characters? All right, I will. Um, okay, uh, so my first character um, is an audience-suggested character, and I don't know who suggested it, but it's a really, really nice set of balls. And in... Parentheses, the whomever put it in was sure to say that that meant testicles. Really, <laughs> really nice testicles. Now, testicles. are any testicles nicer than other testicles? Uh, <laughs> See, well, I thought they record. were all guess... the same. I thought they were all the same, and they were all bad. Yeah. I, actually, I'm sure that there are testicles which are not, you know, none of them are all that great. And then there's probably worse ones. You know what I mean? I'm sure that you would be yeah. like, those are much yeah. worse. <laughs> like if they're really old... Or malformed, or you know, whatever. But what makes it really <laughs> nice? I wonder. I don't know. Probably shiny. Shiny. <laughs> Yikes. Probably shiny. Mm. Well, Mr. Clean from that tournament a while back. I bet he had some really shiny. Balls. Probably. <laughs> He's probably got some shiny balls. That I guy. think uh, he makes a polish for that. That's true. And he has no <laughs> hair anywhere. So. No. Yeah. Matter well. of fact, Mr. Clean's nut polish. I'm surprised they haven't been a sponsor <laughs> thus far. Yeah. Well, give him some time. You guys have heard of the 2004 smash hit iRobot, I assume, yes? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. This character is iRoy Boss. It's, uh... <laughs> like the T? Yeah, but more specifically the shrubs from which the T is made. So, okay. rather... What, what is this character? What is yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, gonna have to, you're gonna have to go into this one. <laughs> rather than it being, like, 100,000 robots that are out to kill humanity or whatever... It's 100,000 shrubs that can walk around. Okay. It's 100, your character is 100,000 shrubs? My character is 100,000 characters. Oh, 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 come on, man. Okay, that's the new record for the most <laughs> characters ever okay. in a single character. Okay, that thing's getting eliminated quick. Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> You know, I just realized something for the first time, guys. We don't have any rules. Yeah, There's yeah. no way to disqualify no. Nash. Of course not. Well, we, could, we, could, we could shout shame, but mostly that just <laughs> makes him feel bad. We don't actually make him take it down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we'll let the game decide. Um, okay, so my dumb thing is a, uh, it's like a bunch of dinosaurs sewn together. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just a, it's, a, it's a big old mess. There's no way to tell how many dinosaurs are in it. <laughs> Uh, just dinosaurs of all kinds. Uh, it's like a big, big ball or wad of dinosaurs sewn together ha haphazardly. Yeah, my my turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a chameleon, yeah. a chameleon. But he can not only shape, uh, change, change his color. He can shape shift into but anything. Only into, okay. No, only shapes. Like you know those blocks <laughs> that kids play with. Yes. So it can become like a. 
circle or a square. So he yeah. can become like ge geometric things. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, this one is uh, Hermione Granger uh, with a broken mm. wand, just so that she's not the most awesome force in the world. The all-important oh, okay. question, how old is she? Yeah, I was trying to decide that. Let's make her of age just so that anything we say is not... Not just the worst. What is of age? Wasn't of yeah, age just, <laughs> just in case, uh, you know, this comes down to some sort of legal issue of age. <laughs> Let's make her of age everywhere in the world. She, she's 20 years old. Okay. Okay, Nash. Yeah, uh, this is a character that Russell and I have uh, affectionately, affectionately named Amba Man. He's, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's, this guy is, he's a deity. Yeah, so he's based on a, a real person, a, an Indian man who can survive uh, only on sunlight. Oh, I know this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everyone kind of knows him a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So but he wait. stands on his roof for one hour a day and stares into the sunset, and I I take it as probably really frail. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. There are a few different guys who kind of who do the same sort of thing. This is kind of all of them uh, just personified into Amba Man. Uh, okay, my character... I, so maybe we're not growing up, per se. Uh, his name is... Well... Uh, he's Richard Nixon uh, smothered in barbecue sauce, a.k.a. <sighs> Sticky Dicky. Uh. <laughs> anyway, but that's just a side note. H yeah. Okay, what's your character, Ross? Is it that thing? Oh, no, no, no. It's the Grim Reaper. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, wow. Really? That's tough. So the taker of souls. Um, I guess I'm next. So I will um, continue to lower the maturity level of this uh, podcast by uh, suggesting that my next ca uh, next character is senator boner <laughs> he, is, he is a very like uh, hyper conservative uh, u.s senator who is also just a giant erection oh dear <laughs> okay i'm gonna bring it back to a place of sensibility here <clears throat> uh your significant other so each of our significant others uh with a danny devito parasitic twin on her shoulder oh <laughs> that sucks I'm so proud of myself. Oh. <laughs> yeah, stop, stop being that way. Yeah, stop okay. being proud. That's not okay. My, my character is an audience submission. Uh, I like it a lot. It's uh, Tracy Morgan Freeman. Uh, I believe it's one body with two heads, uh, one of Tracy Morgan and one of Morgan Freeman. And they are not getting along. No, I don't imagine that they would. <laughs> non stop <laughs> arguments. Yeah. Okay. Michael J. Right. Fox. He's, he's not a fox or anything? Like, no. Okay. No. no. Oh, okay. Just Michael J. Fox. <laughs> okay. My last character. <laughs> my last character is in celebration of a uh, guy that I was just watching and hating to death during my lunch the other day uh, out a window. Uh, so this character is a shithead douchebag with a dumb haircut. <laughs> I know that guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy was here around here today too. <laughs> yeah, so funny. I see him. He popped He's up fast. all over the place. <laughs> wow. Okay, this guy's well traveled. Um, anyway. My my last character. I've ragged on Jay's characters in the past. Uh, you know, I've done so very publicly, and I feel a little bit bad about that. So this time, I created a character that I think he will love. It's called Pie Fries. Pie fries? Yeah, it's like a little fast food box you'd get, but it has tiny little pies in there. I want that. <laughs> yeah, all different, all different kinds of pies. I want that. Well, um, you can have it. Now I'm going to think of nothing else until somebody invents this. <laughs> anyway, uh, interestingly enough, I'm not going to go with this character, but it was like next or second to next on my list. It was a character named I Pie, which is, a, <laughs> which is <laughs> sounds very similar. Not quite the same. It was a, it's a pie with um, a set of eyes and it looks at you and it starts uh, crying whenever you begin eating it. But anyway, that's not my character. That's for another day. Okay. Uh, the character for today is um, an E. coli bacterium with a dashing new du uh, toupee. <laughs> so, <laughs> you need a microscope to see it, but it's doing wonders for his self confidence. Guys, I think this is going to be a little hard to follow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Seriously, there's so many insane characters in this. Yeah, this one's gotten out of hand very quickly. Yeah, we did. We, yeah, we <laughs> yeah. really. This is ridiculous. No, guys. We've, we've got to bring it back. I feel to like our audience. audience has matured along with us. I feel like they'll be able to take it. Um, what's your last character, by the way? It's L. Ron Hubbard. That was one of my characters. Oh, he was next really? on my list. I love that guy. What? 
<laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. I'm not like, in love with him. But for those of us listening at home, I mean, those of you listening at home, uh, he is uh, he's the guy who founded Scientology, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. He was in, insane. He was a science he... fiction writer before he started <laughs> his cult. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think there was a pretty fuzzy line between his science fiction writings and his religious doctrine. I think one just yeah, kind of like yeah, blended into the very, other sim- seamlessly. Very similar. Hey, what's what's the what's the god of Scientology again? It's not him, right? It's a nut. Well, there's Zenu. <laughs> oh, yeah, Zenu. I don't. Know. I don't think he's a good guy though. He's yeah, a bad Zinu's guy. Yeah, Zenu's the one of the bad ones. Yeah. He put all the demons in the volcanoes or something. I'm not sure. And then anyway, the, the demon souls or the souls go into you or something, and you get points, <laughs> and then you rank you up. To like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you get you get anti points for having them in you, and then it's, and then when you can. Uh... When when you can get them out of you uh, via e meter readings and such, yeah, uh, then you uh, then you can do all kinds of things like it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> but unfortunately, none of those things are ever specified ever. Uh, as to what sorts yeah. of things you can actually? This is do. like uh, like an RPG. You're the main mo- character. <laughs> Pretty much, character. yeah. You can power up and stuff. It's mostly yeah, this based RPG on how much money can be you your. Have. Yeah, the, yeah. The only way you That's... can really power up is to give them money, though. There's not like you can go. And... Hey, Cameron, why don't you give us a, a scenario? <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, all right. My first question yeah. is, uh, who would you rather have as a best friend? Ooh. Oh, they're, they're your bestie. Oh. Your little okay. best friend. That uh, is almost identical to my question. <laughs> it's which kind of similar to mine too. <laughs> was... <laughs> what was yours going to be, Jay? Well, and we can still do it, maybe, but it was going to be, who would you rather have uh, plan and officiate and be the best man at your wedding? Mm. That's and pretty much best friend. Your wedding. Yeah, out. Mine was going to be, uh, who is less likely to cramp your style? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, like I don't know that. if that's how I choose my friends, necessarily. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, this guy... He's going to make me look good. Yeah. Might cramp my style a little bit. Move on to the next guy. Oh, what do we do now? <laughs> what do we do? Well, we come up with more. So oh, okay. I'm going to do the question, who would last longest uh, with the predator coming after everybody to kill them? Oh, my gosh. Wow. So are oh, they in okay. a jungle the... like, like in the first predator? Yes. This is my dream. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> again, for those who don't uh, remember... The Predator is that uh, freaky alien warrior guy from the Predator, sometimes Alien vs. Predator movies, who's got a lot of, like, special powers and sees an infrared and can shoot, like, things out of his arm. Can and he shoot, like, nukes? Like that. Nukes? Uh, he can self-destruct. <laughs> nukes, yeah, they, they, uh, they can blow themselves up in, like, a really huge explosion. It, well, whose turn is it? Is it mine? Yeah, probably mine. Okay, I'm going to go with the question, who would win in a fight on a never-ending water slide? Oh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so are they, a water slide into eternity? Is Can it, it being into lava? Into lava? It doesn't. But you never get off of it. Yeah, just the concept yeah. though. That it you're, goes forever. <laughs> you just have the the feeling that you're going into lava. All right, but it will never. You're not going. Never be into seen lava. in any way, shape, or form, though, right? That would affect your mind state. <laughs> Okay, if you were to somehow look over the edge, you'd see some lava. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that up. Yeah. okay, all right, that's good. I like that. Okay, I've got two. I like the first one. It's who farted. Oh, come on! <laughs> 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 game needs some rules or something. <laughs> no, I don't think... Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know yeah. that. Next one is whose life would you rather save by killing yourself? Whoa. Well, that's a lot better. I would I would pick that one. Yeah, I like that one a lot more. <laughs> yeah, that one. Now, is that very that's similar better. to who would you rather have as a best friend? I would I would consider some of you of my best friends, and I wouldn't do any of that shit for any of you guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then, let the tournament begin. We will start with the first question. Who would you rather have as a best friend? A shape-shifting chameleon... Uh, who Sweet. I guess ship, shifts into shapes or pie fries? Who sh- okay. shifts Whoa. into shapes? All right, <laughs> pie fries all the way. Am I right, guys? If pie fries were your best friend, would that mean that you're just eating pie fries all the time? Like, yep. Like how <laughs> right. <laughs> right, we're all uh, gonna get uh, big and fat, though, right? Super big and fat. Uh, well, okay. So are we eating? eating these pie fries all the time or is it am i tempted to not eat my best friend all the time um 
is it, well, here's the thing. Pie fries, they know that they are edible and that they're delicious and they like to be eaten. But you're only going to get the one box of them and then they're done. It's not an, an endless supply of pie fries. Can I just eat them and then not have a best friend? Yeah. <laughs> is that your hands down obvious choice <laughs> yes um now this chameleon what's what's he got to offer if your best friend could change into different shapes i don't assume he can talk right he's just a chameleon yeah yeah okay so so just... can you tell him to like look like a coin or a coaster or something and then i i would imagine it like a self-defense mechanism so when a predator comes near him. He just changes into a shape. So I assume that I just have him in, have him in like a uh, like an aquarium or something. And when I walk up to the thing, if he starts to feel threatened or whatever, he'll just turn into like whatever shape he could think of. Yeah, pretty. much. I guess that'd be pretty that'd be pretty entertaining for like an afternoon. But I don't know if it'd be best friend material. These would both make terrible friends. Why would a chameleon make a bad friend? Wait, I missed. Could he talk? He couldn't talk, right? No. Yeah, that's what. It's like having a cool pet, a really cool pet. That is a really cool it pet. It is a really cool pet, but it doesn't, I don't know, it's not a friend. Speaking as someone who doesn't have a pet and who hates pets, it, uh, <laughs> it's maybe lost on me. More than anything, I just want to eat these little pies. Yeah, that's, know, that's, that's the thing, is I would go for uh, some pie fries for a few minutes as opposed to a lifetime with a chameleon, regardless of what cool talents he may have. Okay, now as much as I don't like pets... I dislike pies even more, so I'm gonna go with pets. You don't like pie? Can I give them to me. No, I don't like pie. What? Well, I'll seriously, there. I'll have them. <laughs> just, just let me eat your best friend. I'll eat them. No, get your own. Just do it. No, no, you can't have this. But I'm gonna be done with my best friend in like a second. I know you're gonna be eyeballing mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be all over those pies. Not a chance. You can eyeball my chameleon instead. That's what I'm going with. Okay, so are we tied? Do we need to modify this? So, Stop. I will check into our little database here. Uh, database. <clears throat> so, the shape-shifting chameleon uh, flunked out of high school. Uh-oh. And the pie fries are gay. Oh, that means exactly, but uh, it sounds like that chameleon, that chameleon is going to be a bad influence on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, yeah. It's still I, just a chameleon, though. Yeah, I think he did very well to even enroll himself in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what's the point if you get there and you just you don't put your back into it? Yeah, but he would. He would. He, 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 he would try very hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the fact that he even made it to school is pretty. <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> yeah. His little backpack on. Yeah, it sounds adorable. <laughs> that actually is pretty cool. Cool enough yeah, to I switch. Want that. Yeah, yeah, okay, sorry, Jay. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> just because, yeah, sorry, Jay. Just because he went to high school and then dropped out or flunked out, that makes you want to be best friends with them? He's got a lot more ambition than he did three minutes ago before he was just sitting in an aquarium. That's not what that modifier was meant to imply, though. But <laughs> well, I guess in the case well, it's of either that's that. That's the thing about modifier lizard. It's either that or have the four of us try to tiptoe over a very sensitive subject like homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to do no, that. No, we don't want to do that. Still, definitely eat those pies. <laughs> well, yeah. But you were always against the pies, oh, right? Oh God! <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! I just realized what you said. Did I switch on a gay person? I can't do that, can I? Can well, you, you already did. Again? Oh no! You heard it here, folks. Re- Cameron Hart is anti-gay. Ah uh, shit! Oh, no. oh God! I forgot what the other modifier was. <laughs> yeah, found out that the character was gay and. Whoop! He jumped the track uh, so quick. Now I look like now I look like the worst one. Yeah, well, shouldn't be so full of hate. <clears throat> Next uh, matchup, uh, your significant other with a Danny DeVito parasitic twin on her shoulder. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Versus I, <laughs> I Roy Boss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, now I got a hundred thousand know bushes. Wait, no, wait, yeah. what? <laughs> yes. I don't get it. Shrubs. Yeah, that's exactly it. You guys, you guys are both <laughs> holding your heads. What's wrong? It was because it was Danny DeVito. How does Danny DeVito factor in? Now, Danny DeVito is hilarious. I would like him as a best friend, but perhaps at some distance. I also wouldn't want him around during, you know, relational times. That would be worst case scenario. Um, but, like, having Danny DeVito... And a significant other. It doesn't sound that bad, but having them inseparable sounds pretty bad. These 100,000 bushes, 
I'm starting to let my imagination get carried away with me, and it sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I would love that. I would just sell it all as tea. Yeah. Like, keep growing. Russ is going to sell all their tea. I'm going to have an unholy army of the night marching on the cities. <laughs> you know, we're all going to we're all going to have have our special things. Did nobody what can it march? Isn't it bushes? isn't it bushes? It can't march. No, they have little legs. Just, yeah. Oh, said, they do. <laughs> they have little legs. It's the only thing I said about them. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, maybe I just have a really terrible imagination, but the only thing I could conceive of was that I would just be able to lie down and hide in them. It's <laughs> <laughs> my, my only well, do that in any bushes. There are bushes everywhere you could hide yeah, in. Yeah, but I would have them. <laughs> so okay, just to be now, clear, yeah, this, so you, okay. you were thinking of a character, you, and you came up with iRobot, and you are like, oh, that's not good enough. <laughs> so you thought, like, oh, what sounds like robot? <laughs> and you came up with Roybox. <laughs> And you're like, oh, that's good enough. That is, <laughs> like, okay, that's my character. that is correct. And can I also clarify that you did the exact same thing with Sticky Dicky? You thought <laughs> I did though. You actually. didn't start with Sticky Dicky and then turn it you, into. <laughs> I promise you. I uh, I it was originally a dog covered in peanut butter. <laughs> then I wanted to make it a man because you know I'm I'm always doing dog characters. So it became a man. But I was like, I don't want a man. You know, just a normal man. But I picked Richard Nixon covered in peanut butter. And I was like, how about barbecue sauce? And then, anyway, that's how that came about. And I was thinking about it a little bit more, and then Sticky Dicky came up, and I just had to say it out loud. Wow, yeah. Moving on. I... <laughs> what are you guys' votes? Okay, now, hang on. So there's a few things that you promise your significant other, and she'll ask you things like, would you still love me if I this, or if I, you know, if I broke my neck and had to be in a wheelchair, or would you still love me if I got this disease or was, you know, fat or something? None of those things are, would you still love me if I had a Danny DeVito's head on? my shoulder, I couldn't love her anymore. <laughs> could you look her in the eyes is this, and tell her that? Yeah, is this I could. Danny DeVito in the eyes and tell him that? Yes, I could. I, well, maybe yeah. I could. But I, well, if, she, if, she, if she grew Danny DeVito's head on her shoulder, our marriage would be over. <laughs> I feel like that, uh, at least that's they the same have thing each other, to say. You know? So nobody's really seeing this as significant other plus, huh? No, no. Is this... it's absolutely significant other minus. Oh, okay. Considerably is something, minus. Is this something that she's had her whole life? Or like it just happened one day? She went away for a spa weekend and returned <laughs> with it. <laughs> okay. She would be answering a lot of questions. Moving no, I, I, gotta, I gotta go with that, uh, that bunch of shrubs. Well, it's called iRoyBoss. Three to one, yeah. I think. You're still with the parasitic... Uh, twin no i'm not i'm with the bushes so who's the one <laughs> i thought nash was all over this he's like a significant other plus yeah but it's significant other plus or myself plus one hundred thousand roy boss <laughs> <laughs> okay fine yeah uh michael j fox versus amba man i i feel like i would get pretty irritated with amba man i'd be like come on you're a terrible come person on, just, just do something <laughs> <laughs> just it seems unnatural but that's his thing. It's natural perhaps, for him. Yeah, the most natural. Yeah. I, mean, though, I feel like hey man, I, would, I would spend our entire relationship being like, come on. I no. feel like that would make <laughs> yeah, him a better too. person. No way! <laughs> so I kind of don't trust this guy. I feel like he's sneaking peanuts or something, you know? No, like, he was. <laughs> uh, he's not. It's just the sun. You're sitting around eating your pie fries, and he's standing there, look at you all smug, and just say, son... <laughs> And that, that's it. That's all he needs. It's all he wants. He's very natural. No, I would I'll say. bet that guy's got some cashews or something stashed away. Yeah, he's got. He's got, to have <laughs> he's got a secret supply. Well, hey, but, I mean, you guys know that he doesn't. So don't go yeah. basing. I, I don't, don't go know. basing your, How do your decision. I know that? that How he do you does. know that? Yeah. Because How can somebody get by on just? Sun? It's the, that's he's that's what think... he is. How could some guy be Whoa. pie? Fries? How could he be? He doesn't have any chlorophyll in his body. How could he get yeah. nutrients from the sun? He's it's a very, very specific man. chemical process. Guys, we are 14 episodes too late to start talking about how these monstrosities can exist. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. okay. In the world of tournamental, sure. But I thought yeah, we were talking okay. about in real life. Okay, all right, all right. In real life, he's been studied for years on end by scientists, and they've watched him he eat nothing. He hasn't been studied by me. Oh, you're an expert <laughs> on this. i got to get in there firsthand. <laughs> See if he's eating June bugs. <laughs> Okay, where do we where do we vote? I think I'm I'm torn. I don't care. You're torn because you don't care. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. Like, good, Michael that's J. Good. Fox. That's exactly what we. Yeah, I want to be Michael J. Fox. That guy is pretty incredible. Nash. Yeah, I love Michael J. Fox. Okay, fine. Sorry, Amber man. 
All right, uh, same question. Who would you rather have as your best friend, Tracy Morgan Freeman or the Grim Reaper? <laughs> oh, now, he would kill oh. anybody you wanted, provided you wanted people killed, right? Mm, Tracy Morgan know. Freeman, I, don't think he would. I mean. I don't think Probably he would. Not. I don't, yeah, I don't think he could sway death's decision-making. Well, he's your best he, friend, though. Yeah, but he, he'll pro he'd probably keep you alive, but he probably would won't kill he, people though? for you. I feel like oh, yeah, you're maybe. just like uh, an, accident, an accidental hand brush away from death. Yeah, exactly. Like if you yeah. you guys do something awesome and then high five, it's like oh shit, and then you're dead. Like yeah. if you wrestle or something. <laughs> yeah. <I think. laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you just. Mm -hmm. you also, you know that thing that guys do a lot of the time. I'm really not a fan of it. Like where you go to the movies and you leave a space in between an extra seat. Mm -hmm. You'd have to do that all the time, and that just looks weird. You can put your jacket. <laughs> put his little cloak there. <laughs> put his cloak there. <laughs> then I'm just sitting one seat away from a chattering skeleton with a side. <laughs> and I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want that kind of attention. A movie well, theater, I just want to watch a movie. Why wouldn't he kill people for me? I, thought... I, don't, I, think, I don't think he strays from like the natural cycle of life and death. But I thought best friends are the ones who go to bat for you and do the stuff that other people won't do. Yeah, but I yeah, think he's above that. Who do you want to that. kill, man? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. You know. <laughs> who in your life are you trying to kill? I maybe I should be telling you this, Nash, but you have you already have the power to take life. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> so you're you're fully capable of that now. Me? If you? <laughs> yeah, you. I shouldn't have said anything, but um, this changes anyway. everything, guys. I'll be back yeah. in fifteen. <laughs> Continue with that. <laughs> anyway, you're sick, and I'm uh, <laughs> I'm not voting for him. Yeah, if touching him inadvertently will kill me, I don't like that. Tracy Morgan Freeman. I think that'd be pretty sweet. I think all their banter would be hilarious. It would perhaps get a little, you know, you, you wouldn't want to be in sleepovers because would, they would probably get on your nerves after a little while. But I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna vote do. for Grim Reaper. <laughs> Explain. I feel like he would have, I feel like he would have some really interesting insight into like the universe. Yeah, that's probably he, he very might. true. Yeah, that's he, true. I thought about that, but I think that the chance that that might accidentally end my existence uh, at any given moment is a little bit more swaying factor. Well, here's, here's the thing, though. You guys are all my best friends, and I don't ever touch you. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't live in the same province as half of you guys, and we have some good times, so well, maybe... Yeah, but I think that uh, I think that your best friend probably lives near you in this scenario. Not Why? In the, not in the real world all the time. What, are you just going to move away from him? Be like, hey, yeah. man, sorry. You yeah, just, I moved away from all away. my best friends. Yeah. <laughs> so did Actually, I all of your time. best friends moved away from you after that. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Wait, I don't even remember who the other character was. Oh, yeah, we already talked about it several times. Okay, yeah, Tracy Morgan Freeman. Mm. I'm interested guess, in I, these I, conversations about death, or with death, rather. Yeah, I yeah. feel like... I feel Skyping like the, with uh, death seems like a really interesting thing to be able to do. I think the risk um, doesn't outweigh the reward. Well, like you're, you know, you're gonna die anyway. He's the Grim Reaper, so <laughs> why not take a chance and learn some insight? You might die, but oh well, whatever. Yeah, I mean, well, that's right. the one thing that you know, writers and and artists and everything, everyone's been talking about forever is what happens after. And nobody, obviously, can ever answer that question because then you can't come back. If you have yeah. somebody who's been to after forever, maybe uh, maybe now I'm the best. Does being his best yeah. friend make me the best? Yeah, I feel like you would. Yeah, would. At least you would be one of like the best. Like You could write some really amazing things, I think, with Beth as yeah, a best friend. Yeah, I think like, so. You would have some incre Even if you won't tell you what happens after, having conversations with a guy who's been there at the death of everyone ever would probably have yeah, some true. pretty crazy things to say to you, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but did you guys ever see Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey? Yes. This happened. They became best friends with death. And uh, that guy was straight up annoying. The whole movie, in fact, was pretty Yeah, but don't yeah, put but... yourself <laughs> in the same intellectual playing field as Bill and Ted. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I Jay. would like to think that the actual specter of death, should it actually exist, would be considerably more interesting than would be portrayed on Bill and, Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Yeah. I'd Don't like get to me hope wrong. So. I really, really want to be friends with this skeleton. Like that's <laughs> like one of my top goals. But I not this skeleton. I'm voting for the other thing. Okay. I'm with death. Russ has swayed me to death. He swayed Russ me swayed to, death to death as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he guys. hasn't swayed me to Come death. Come back. Yes. <laughs> Come back. All right. He takes it. Who would you rather have as your best friend? A really nice set of balls, 
Could he give me tips on how, like, uh, to keep my balls looking nice? <laughs> I'm sure he could. <laughs> like, shine them and stuff? Yeah. Can he? Someone's got to answer the man. <laughs> what? I'm sure you can. Think... I don't know how much good that would do you. I mean, by the time I think... someone has seen your balls, you've pretty much had to do a lot of work to get them to that point anyway. It's not... Mm, that's <laughs> not true. Like There's no it's turning back. I don't think these yeah. balls can <laughs> communicate. I think, at best, they can just lead by example. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Also, you'd be the guy who's walking around with a set of balls, albeit very nice ones, but... Um, <laughs> People would uh, kind of point at you and whisper. People would be like, <laughs> Pass dude, them on the street. those are really nice, but what the hell? <laughs> yeah. All right, what's the other character now? The other character is a douchebag with a dumb haircut. Ah, fuck uh. him. I hate that guy. They're essentially uh. the same character. <laughs> yeah. Now, I have a question about, about this really nice set of balls. Like... You see, you see some characters or some people who are, are into cosplay or what have you, and they do like a really crappy, awful job, and you're like, oh, boo, why are you walking around like that? But then you see other people who have really just nailed it, and you're like, that is impressive. Hats off to them. Are people going to see these set of balls walking around with me and think the former or the latter? Are they nice enough that it actually impresses people? Yeah, I, well... <laughs> I don't know. How many of these cosplay people that you see walking around are dressed up as, you know, anatomy parts? Few. <laughs> few. I, I think feel that... like you would no longer be allowed in most places. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Regardless of how not... Even outside. I, the, the impressiveness of the balls is not enough to outweigh the fact that they are balls. Okay, yeah. Asking. Yeah, that's exactly what I was asking. I would pick the, uh, the douchebag because I would try and make him a better person. It might take years, but I would try. You can change him, Russ. I believe it. <laughs> yeah. His haircut is really dumb. But also, the ball's haircut is probably pretty dumb, too. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go that. with that other one. Douchebag? I guess he's, he's not much of a step up from balls, but he is a small step up. <laughs> yeah, I agree. All right, douchebag goes through. Uh, <clears throat> Sticky Dicky. Or oh. E. coli with a... Brand oh. new toupee. Sticky dicky, it would have to be. Yeah? Yeah? E. coli. <laughs> yeah, it would have to be. Guys, come on. <laughs> oh, really? It, oh, yes, it fucking Jay absolutely I... would have to be. Jay and I... But you, you can't I see know. E. coli. As soon as you touch him or are near him, which you wouldn't know that you were, then you would get E. coli, which is extraordinarily no. unpleasant. Cameron. Yes, why wouldn't you? Cameron, you would know you're with him. He has a beautiful toupee. Yes, it's a. But you said it was a, it was a uh, E. coli sized toupee. You can't see any of that shit. Well, yeah, I mean, with a microscope for sure. You can, you can see the toupee. Um, I feel like you're being needlessly argumentative here. Come on, it's fucking E. coli. <laughs> Cameron, you, he's he's your best friend. He's not going to give you E. coli. Yeah, but he might give yes, other he, people E. coli. Yeah, exactly. Well, if you want him to. Yeah. Well, if he wants to as well, though. Yeah, yeah, you can control him, I guess. <laughs> I can't control any of you. You can tell us not to to kill your friends or whatever. Yeah, but I think E. coli, that's like, that's his thing. Is that's infect- what they do. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> his meaning. That's exactly. what gives him his purpose. Well, I don't know. Yeah. But just, you know, on the plus side, this toupee looks really smart. Yeah, I can see that. I'm with that. Oh, yeah. This Guys, is divide and conquer. Come on. For that E. coli. He's pulling it off, you know? Why wouldn't he? yes? Um, you guys, this is so simple. You, here's, also, you know it's it, Richard Nixon. You know what? It's it, a guy. Nah, he's uh, he's no good. Here's what yeah. it boils down <laughs> oh, to. Oh come on! Here's, here's what it boils oh, down to. You much guys, better than a disease. You guys see the worst in people. You see all the people's E. coli. Whereas Jay and I see the best in people. They're toupees. These are not people. <laughs> These are bacteria yes. that will kill you. Probably. No, he's not. He's only gonna kill you if he decides to. Uh, multiply, reproduce, form a culture, or whatever. Yeah. He's probably not. He's not gonna. He's Guys, not necessarily gonna do if that. If any person puts on this toupee of E. coli, <laughs> they're instantly gonna get sick and start spreading it. I a toupee I don't is burst gonna go bubble. close to somebody's face. No, pretty the, close. The, the toupee is microscopic. Exactly. <laughs> the entire it's thing is microscopic. Sized. Also, yeah. if you had a nice toupee like that. Why would you give it away? Then everyone knows you're bald. I <laughs> know. He's not going to let go of no that. No one's going to wear also, it. Also, if he's he, just Like I said, one... he's pulling it off. Okay, People buy he's... it. Shut up for a second. If he's just <laughs> one E. coli 
like bacteria by himself, like on an armchair next to you, uh -huh. his life inspect expectancy is seconds. Like he's not in water, he's not. <laughs> well, in then anything. what do you have to worry about? Yeah, don't Guys. even worry. Guys. <laughs> yeah. Or would you rather have Sticky Dicky walking yes, around? Yes, I would. He's on your couch. I would. He's untrustworthy. He's all over the place. Whatever. He's untrustworthy. Same with E. coli, though, man. Can't trust E. coli. We're trying to wipe it out of extinction, and you're going to trust it? If we're wiping it out wipe of extinction, it extinction, then that's yeah. just perfect. Oh, we wipe it right into existence. <laughs> with little toupees on all yeah. of them. So cute. Um, it's not... Oh, it's not cute, and you... Fucking no, it's not cute. Come on. <laughs> you know what, Cameron? You know what must really be frustrating you is that Jay and I, honestly, both see it as really cute. No, man. No, <laughs> no you don't. You no, really no, don't. No, no, no. You're I not being no. truthful. No, no, no. You're not, <laughs> yeah, you're not being real right now. Here's the you thing. You are not Yo. being real. No, 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 no. We know it's bad. We know E. e. coli is, you know, the worst of these two evils. We realize that. But... The character that we personified in our head, which I assume is the exact same, is very adorable. It's the same. Yeah. Oh, no, man. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I just don't want Richard Nixon coming around and be like, <laughs> <laughs> Sticky Nixon. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> now, Sticky, he's, okay, he had some uh, major, major things wrong with his president presidency. However, at one point in his life, he got an entire country to like him enough to vote him in. He must be somewhat agreeable to be around. I think yeah. he's a much better best friend than a disease. Yeah, that's true, man. He doesn't want anything from me, Richard Nixon. It's not like I have a bunch of money or something he's going to try and swindle me out of, I guess, if that's what we think he would do. It's, I don't have enough for him. He's just going to be a, an old guy who I don't think was... the. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's much, much better than some bacteria. I, I, don't, I feel I don't like that's self-evident. It's so self-evident. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, well, I don't want you hegemonically projecting that onto me and my decisions, Cameron. <laughs> mm. But I, I'm not saying that Richard Nixon was evil per se, but I'm just saying that if I were looking out the window and I were seeing him coming, covered in barbecue sauce, I'd be like, oh man, I gotta close the blinds. I gotta pretend I'm not home. Turn the light down. <laughs> Let know? me just hang out with this E. coli in the dark. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. He rough gets me. He's gonna anyway, jump into your on, I, I got my vote. Kill you. <laughs> That's this is I can't believe this. Uh, this Fine. Is, well, okay, okay, Nash, are you on my side? Modify or what, this stupid deal? fucking I, shit. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, modify absolutely. this shit. Your man. guys, your your guys half of the listening. conversation has a potty mouth. Let's just say yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. you guys. Really, yeah, fuck you. Guys. Really, this is the worst. How thing. No, it's really dark. Before before I answer, I want to know two things. Is this one E. coli and what does that mean? And secondly, how much damage can one E. coli do? Um, he is one E. coli. He is a bacterium, singular, and I don't think one E. coli can do any damage. I'm sure it can. I'm sure oh, it can. come on. One cell? Uh, there's no way. It, That's what they do. They don't, like, okay. Yeah, like, if he I, reproduces, I under yeah. Yeah, he'll reproduce. That's what he does. I That's his know. thing. That's the, actually <laughs> yeah, I mean, pretty much the only thing that bacteria do is reproduce. Yeah. Well, he's a swinging bachelor with that toupee, for sure. I mean, he's got a lot of self-confidence, oh, so he might, <laughs> he might reproduce. Guys. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Jay. Migraine. Jay, is he going to reproduce? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Okay. He absolutely if, is. If he's going to reproduce, i got to go with Sticky Dicky. I didn't, Thank I you. didn't imagine him doing oh. that. That wasn't my idea. Okay. Can make character. I thought it was just like one guy. But given what you know of his personality, is he the, he's got that toupee so he can reproduce. Is that right? <laughs> no, it's yeah, not. and given what we know he, he of what bacteria do, mind. which is over time reproduce exponentially, then yeah, he's gonna reproduce. I think he's gonna uh, reproduce. Well, uh, well, then I'll just lice all his children. Whatever, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> You're gonna lice all him too. Okay, yeah, it's your best friend. <laughs> Guys, I'm switching. Thank uh, you. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who would you rather have as your best friend? A uh, whole mess of dinosaurs sewn together, uh, or um, L. Ron Hubbard? So, if you're his best friend, you'd probably be, be like the co-cult leader. You'd be up there. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Maybe you'd have a lot of money, that's for sure. Well, so much money. he probably had a best friend, and we don't know who that guy is, so maybe you wouldn't be. I'm not sure he had a best friend. <laughs> <laughs> he was a big time. I don't know like, if you. Yeah, he was a big time like graphophile. Like he wrote just. Would yeah, write he all never the time. stopped writing. And he uh, was. 
Yeah. In every sense of the word, he was mad. I think he was just... Uh, he was steeped in madness. <laughs> <laughs> could be. Yeah, could I'd be. say that's pretty accurate, yeah. Yeah, could be. It would, it would be kind of fun to try to have conversations with him, but I feel like it would just be infuriating and bewildering. <laughs> I think I would end up... I think I would end up killing him. Yeah. <laughs> would, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's, that's risky. That's, yeah, now, that's uh... Right. Cam and I, when we lived together, we would have what we called Scientology devotionals every night, <laughs> and we would read Scientology books to each other, but we uh, would only read a few pages, because after, Cam, man, seriously, yeah, remember, somebody, after uh, like yeah, a page, totally your head would be spinning, you wouldn't know what was going on, it was just, it was, yeah. it was mad. The moment, the moment that you think that you have an, a grasp on what is going on with Scientology, uh, you would read another page, and it would reverse or undo everything yeah, that it has exactly. said thus far. It is, I feel it, like he is, would... I don't feel like you could create a more tangled web of difficult-to-understand concepts. Like For it's sure. Actually he would just pull you into madness. The machinations of just the, the craziest, craziest things. On the other hand, a bunch of dinosaurs sewn together. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Hey, I think so. I went downtown to the Church of Scientology headquarters, and I got a readout... I had to. Did you actually? Yeah, I had to take a 200 question test, and then they <laughs> they fed it through their computers and gave me a readout of my personality, which could not yeah. have been more wrong, by the way. I was talking about <laughs> how depressed I was and I addicted to drugs and why I, I need Scientology oh, to fix me. But the one thing that they said, which I'm sure is true, was that one of my closest friends was out to betray me. Uh, oh, well, that's it's true me. for sure. It's me. Oh. Oh, it's you, too? Oh, I yeah. thought it was me. Oh. Oh, okay. So it was wrong. It's all of your friends. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, well, then forget that. I'd like a mess of dinosaurs, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dinosaurs for me. And finally, uh, the last matchup of this scenario, who would you rather have as a best friend? Senator Boner. Oh, or Hermione with a broken wand. Oh, I feel oh. like that's pretty straightforward, yeah. I'm not sure why. Do we want to do it? Do we want to get into it? Okay, here we go. This uh, this boner has some real um, extreme right wing beliefs, and I don't feel like I could be best friends with that. Therefore, I will choose the attractive twenty year old girl that's magic. How are you? I think though, there's a little bit of magic in this boner too. Are you, yeah. are you thinking like that old, all yours. that old Frosty the Snowman kind of? <laughs> he puts on like a yeah, magic like, wait, what? condom hey, and next suddenly tie on him, he comes alive. <laughs> puts a little Can't magic so condom on his head that. and he's jumping so around. Hang on, Be before that, before he put the necktie on, he was just a giant disembodied dick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just lying there and lifeless. Okay, he was drooping and yeah. upset, but then. <laughs> So how are your guys' significant others going to feel about you having a very attractive 20-year-old uh, best friend? I feel like she would prefer that to me being best friends with an enormous penis. I feel like that. I she know. She like probably. either scenario, but uh, yeah, one would be very more true. than the other. I'm confident that, that Jackie would disagree. I think Jackie would, uh, <laughs> would prefer that I be friends with this, with this big boy. Actually, no, the right-wing beliefs she? actually... Make the difference. Oh, yeah, the big boner, I think she'd be more <laughs> fond of than Hermione. But <laughs> now, let me ask The fact you, that it's a right wing senator, maybe not. Would she. Okay, if she had to choose between you being best friends with n nobody or you being best friends with this big boner, which do you think she would choose? Nobody. Nobody. Oh, really? Okay. So this wouldn't be something that she would find just irresistible. Like, funny enough that it would What are you be, saying? Why did you use that word? Yeah, why uh, did you use that word in relation uh, to a huge boner and Nash's girlfriend? So uncomfortable. No, I didn't mean it like that. But, I mean... So who do you guys choose? Senator Boner? Hermione with a broken wand? I'll just I'll Hermione Hermione as well. really reluctantly take Hermione, you know? Just real reluctantly. Yeah, okay. Hermione advances. All right, we are on to the next round of scenarios here. Who would win in a fight on a never-ending... Water slide. I had trouble saying. Oh, I like that. <laughs> it's okay. Water slide. Question. Never ending water slide. <clears throat> water slide. Who, who are the guys? Never ending water slide. Uh, the guys are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <we're> <laughs> never ending water slide. <laughs> Shape shifting chameleon. Or uh, I Roy Boss. Uh, who, who would win in a fight to the death on a uh, never ending water slide? <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, uh, you guys are all nuts. Um, okay, I think uh, I, I think easily that what is that chameleon gonna do? What's it gonna do? <laughs> How's that gonna destroy a hundred thousand bushes? Oh yeah, the, the bushes can like move. They're somewhat animated, yeah. right? Yeah, they can yeah. kick. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're going to overwhelm that chameleon in the course of the eternity that is that water slide. <laughs> yeah. And the chameleon Unless can't can... blend into anything, right? He just turns into shapes. No, he can do both. Oh, okay. So maybe he could just grab onto the bush in the middle and just ride it out. But then the bush in the middle, can they can they speak to each other? They can speak to each other. Uh, trees can speak. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not sure. That, is, that, the, is that like a scientific logic. fact? Yeah, is that the yeah. Encyclopedia Britannica or something like that? Yeah, check a yeah. Wikipedia trees article in an hour and you'll see. Trees <laughs> can speak. No, uh, you know, they can uh, they can move their branches and all that kind of stuff. No, they can't speak there. They can just kick and walk around and stuff like that. And squish a chameleon. Yeah. If they yeah, so if he, if he can, like, flick his branches and stuff, he's going to flick that chameleon off there. He's going to know he that it's the there. Lava. Yeah. He's going to be grabbing him. Okay, what do we got next? Uh, Michael J. Fox or the Gr- <laughs> Grim Reaper? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I think the Grim Reaper is going to be just fine. I feel like he's just going to take care of Michael J. Fox like he does every day for millions of people. Then he's just going to kick back and relax and... Of the ride of his life. Of the ride of his death. Yeah, good one. Yeah. Okay, alright. Okay. Um, who would win in a uh, fight on a never-ending water slide? A douchebag with a dumb haircut or Sticky Dicky? I think Sticky Dicky was a pretty... Like, he was a big guy. Uh, he seemed like he was kind of... I mean, he was chubby but i seem like he got a lot of power in him ah, i don't know how this is gonna happen because i feel like sticky dicky is sticky enough that he's just gonna like he's gonna lose momentum and he's gonna slow way down <laughs> and then how's he gonna catch up to the d-bag now say yeah what, say what you want about most d-bags but this one that i saw included they're in pretty good shape yeah they're always living in the gym yeah. and stuff right uh, I think he's gonna win. I just don't want him to. Yeah. But I have to be. I have to be true to myself. I have but to be like, real. Sticky Dicky's got old man strength. Old man stank, strength. Strength. That's the word. Uh, he also has old man stank too. <laughs> yeah, he's got that too. I'm sure. Maybe maybe he gets a quick one in and just chucks this d bag over the side. No. And maybe maybe so. he takes his barbecue sauce and rubs it in his eyes. Uh, if there's yeah. one thing I know about D-bags with dumb haircuts is that they always be coming back. Yeah. Maybe not after being introduced to lava is the thing. Good point. Yeah, if it can take down the Terminator. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not being argumentative here. I legitimately think that uh, Sticky Dicky's got a chance of shoving this stupid d-bag over the side of it he's got some tenacity for sure no i think he's, he's old and frail. a middle-aged man yeah he's, yeah he's, he's he's big though like i say he's probably like what do you think he was 250 280 pounds like he's yeah. a big guy i think i think douchebag for sure they're always going yeah. around picking fights and stuff yeah all right i thought he was i big. think this is his zone <laughs> this is his element yeah actually as someone who goes to the pool all the time and sees many yeah. d bags at the stupid water slide. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. They're all over water parks. <laughs> <laughs> like they're breeding ground. Yeah, that's true. He would be right at home, that guy. <laughs> all right, and finally, a mess of dinosaurs versus <laughs> Hermione uh, with a broken wand. Well, if only her wand weren't broken, she wouldn't get stomped. Yeah. <laughs> Does she need the wand to do magic? That's what I don't know enough about the Harry Potter universe to answer. They can they can do some stuff, but they can't really like direct it. Did anybody they read the books? Like, no. I read the first book, but I don't remember much. Oh, I think there was oh, yeah. uh, there's a, the a chapter in one of them where I don't know Hermione had to fight like a big mess of dinosaurs or whatever. But if none of <laughs> oh, us, yeah. none of us read, yes, it. I think uh, remember that, that scene. Was, uh, I can't remember how it turned out. Me neither. On, was... Harry Potter and the Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> they had to change the it for Jurassic legal Park, issues. Yeah. Yeah, legal yeah. reasons they had to change it. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, she, she's, she can. I think that they can do some magic without wands, but not enough to harm any piles of dinosaurs. Yeah, 
And um, also, just so you know, for once in their miserable existences, these dinosaurs are having a great time. <laughs> yeah. Having a great day. <laughs> so they don't want to. Day. <laughs> day at the water park. Or eternity at the water park. So they're not looking to share that slide, huh? They're looking, they're looking for a girl. tasty meal, yeah. Yeah. All right, the semi-final round. Who would last longer with Predator trying to kill everyone? I, Roy Boss, or the Grim Reaper? Can he be killed? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think that, really well. Yeah, it seems like mm. death comes for us all, even rooibos plants. A hundred thousand Yeah, that's rooibos true. Plants. I feel like that would be really monotonous for a predator, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> shredding a a hundred thousand plants. Yeah, <laughs> I feel. I yeah, yeah. I I don't. I think Grim Reaper can just like look at him and take him out, I guess. Or does he have to slash him with his scythe? I don't know how it works. Yeah, he probably has to Grim... reap them. Reap? So the Grim Reaper moves slowly, right? I think he moves at whatever pace he wants yeah, to. Yeah, I think so, too. I'm sure he can go pretty yeah. quick if he wants to. Oh, really? Okay. Well, maybe I'm just so... thinking of Lord of the Rings and those Nazgul's. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was thinking of the Ghost they of Christmas quickly. Future, too. Yeah. It's all the same, it's all the same stuff. Um, now, so you're saying, Russ, that even, like, if the Predator is blasting him with missiles and stuff, he's going to be just, uh, impervious to that? Yeah, I think the whole nature of death, he can, he can <laughs> control it. He can control when he dies. He can't fight fire with fire? Okay, all right. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> I don't know if we realize what we've entered into the tournamental system here. I mean, <laughs> every character has the potential to haunt us forever and ever via the tournament of champions thing, and death yeah, may he... may do just that. If only we had the so. Matrix again. If only we had a almost... sex question. Yeah, we almost <laughs> yeah. lost in the last round, guys. I had to That's convince true. you. Yeah. Okay, all That's right. True. So death wins this one. What's our next match? The next matchup is a douchebag with a dumb haircut versus a whole mess of dinosaurs. Well, at the very no. end, like, it would take a long time to get through all of those dinosaurs, right? Like, he's got to kill each That's one individually. True. Yeah. Uh, he's got lots of... Mi I don't think they'd be tough to find. I but... feel like there are some dinosaurs in the middle there that are going to be really tough to get at. Uh... <laughs> and if I know Predator's uh... history, he usually goes after the D-bags first. They're usually the For ones sure. to go in, like, the goriest, messiest ways. You yeah, know? if you've seen that movie... Um, the predator killed like I don't know, like eight or nine d bags, and then he finally got to Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was a d bag who was a bit tougher to kill. <laughs> and Arnold Schwarzenegger was able to kill him because he like hid in some mud or whatever. And then eventually, uh, through a lot of uh, exhausting circumstances, Arnold Schwarzenegger was finally able to uh, get the predator to take his own life spoiler anyway. warnings for the movie yeah Penister. sorry yeah, yeah spoiler Rent it, guys uh, on dvd or blu-ray today it's a it's a heck of a time spoiler but uh, the movie you can't watch is the movie where the mess of dinosaurs <laughs> goes up against and probably wins before we move uh, on can i just say yeah. how much i would like this particular guy i was watching the other day to watch him be hunted down and executed by <laughs> oh he really <laughs> did a number on you huh <laughs> oh, he's the fucking worst, that guy. <laughs> what was he doing? Just walking around? Uh, he was arguing with his girlfriend. That's, I think that's probably what pissed me off the most. That's what they do. She, yeah, she's, she seemed nice, you know, from across the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, <laughs> so you've become the old guy who... <laughs> <laughs> I was at a restaurant. I was at a restaurant. Oh, okay, all right. How long were you in okay. that restaurant? Six hours? Because you could be that old guy, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah well actually <laughs> that old guy was sitting a couple tables down yeah <laughs> he, was, he was there he was judging okay. you he was thinking oh, this guy's not an old guy like me look at him ju <laughs> look at judging him. that douchebag <laughs> judging that d-bag like an amateur <laughs> <laughs> got a long way to go kiddo okay um i'm gonna vote for the dinosaurs seems all right so we have made it to our final the Whoa. whole mess of dinosaurs versus the Grim Reaper with the scenario, oh, whose life would you rather save by killing yourself? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that what? is an existential oh, my nightmare. Goodness. This is not as easy as I <laughs> thought it's it was like going to be. You look into, when you look into a mirror and there's a mirror behind you and it just goes on forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think... <laughs> 
Uh, now, death serves an important role in yeah. society, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Or would you kind so. of want to stick it to them? Oh, everything okay, now, on the planet would consume itself so quickly. If there was no death, yeah, all the so resources does, would be eaten up so quick. Does death only take people's lives? Or is death like going around like killing every houseplant and cat and yeah, squirrel and ant and everything? I'm He's got a busy agenda. Yeah, now, I imagine he That, he that kills being all. said, Russ, you said that we're going to cons- overconsume all of the resources right away. But there's no death, so nothing can come of that. Did you guys ever read Tuck Everlasting? No. No. <laughs> because we're okay. not awful or whatever. <laughs> hey, I was in the sixth grade. They made us. Yeah, how many times anyway, were you in the sixth grade, Jay? The whole point of that book... <laughs> the whole point of that book is that death is important to life. Well, good. I'm glad you've cited a source that none of us know what we're talking about. Okay. Um, well... Yeah, so would you okay here, here's the basis of the question would you kill yourself so that everybody else on earth could die one that's day? a lot of death when you could when you could create a reality where there's no death yeah but why and, is and death a such a bad dinosaurs. thing why is death such a bad thing i i agree this is I think it needs to happen did we just i think we just wrote, wrote a haiku right there so <laughs> we, we go back on that yeah but did we need death right I think that's reality, yeah. Death is a necessary thing. If we keep procreating and no one's dying, even if we have all the resources because they're not dying either, we're just going to straight up run out of space. Yeah, very quickly. We're going to be all cramped and crowded like those dinosaurs. <laughs> and we're all going to be sewn together and rolling we're around. In a big bundle. We'll, yeah, probably pretty, true, actually. we'll probably pretty quickly uh, take over the universe, though. Like, expand into the universe. We would have to very quickly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I guess well, we, we could... could stop breeding eventually. <laughs> well, I don't think so because I think if we had unlimited resources, we would just keep expanding at a. But we wouldn't have unlimited rate. resources. We would just have unlimited time, and I guess that's a, the only necessary resource if you can't die. I don't think we'd ever wow, stop guys, breeding. This is awesome. We're really, <laughs> we're really going to place with this. I like we'd this. keep breeding. I would see to it that there are secret sects of secret sex. And everybody would keep having sex. So are you going to vote for dinosaurs? Well, here's the thing. I would love to die so that dinosaurs may exist again, but not if they're going to be a big, dumb wad. Yeah, not an abomination. Now, here's the thing. It's not an either or, right? Yeah, I just realized that, yeah. So Whose life would you rather well, save by killing yourself? Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, so it depends on what we're going for here. Like, okay, so if, if there are two of them... One of them is going to die out of the two, then that's a different question than if who would you rather be known go down in history for having saved with by killing your own or taking I'm saying your own life. Basically, the world would probably benefit by the life you save by killing yourself. Mm. More like okay, self sacrificial. So, so for the, the, the good of... one one of the one of the two will go on. What here's what I want to happen. I. <laughs> I want to be able to sacrifice my life to save these dinosaurs so that death doesn't win and go on to the tournament of champions. I want to be up front oh. about it. That's what I want. But it depends on what the question is. I'm now still kind now of you're breaking that. the tournamental. Like, this is like that scene in Jumanji where the kid tries to like stack the dice to roll the right, way, the right number or whatever. You can't do that to tournamental, man. You'll break well, fortunately tournamental. Fortunately for the game, I don't want to break tournamental or Jumanji, but fortunately I, the, what the question is isn't up to me. So is it like an A B split or is it like both realities at once? The person that you choose would stay alive, you would die as well as the opponent of that character. Okay. okay. There we go. So they they both exist in the same spot. All right. Good. All right. Uh, I think you need death. Like yep. the way things essential. are set up, you yeah, it would be Then it, have we reached a decision? Yeah. And is it unanimous? Yes. Okay. I think it is. All right. Sadly, as it does every day, everywhere in the world, death wins. Yes. <laughs> uh, thanks, Tournamental, for bringing us to that inevitable conclusion. I don't yeah. know, man. I think that uh, the Grim Reaper may have met his match in our other worst character ever, the spicy wiener with mad hops. I'm sorry? Uh, <laughs> that character was fantastic. Uh, no, he's the worst one, and he breaks Tournamental. I don't know how. He's like... 
He's like a cheat code for an old Nintendo game or something. Once <laughs> yeah, introduced, one in, once introduced, <laughs> he instantly wins everything, but makes everything worse simultaneously. Yeah, you ever tried beating Contra without it? It's tough, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you need Game Genie. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations, Death, on yet another victory. <laughs> yeah. Way to go, Death. <laughs> yeah. What a sad and confusing end. He, he, he did not need that victory. Death was doing just <laughs> no. fine before he got in here. Yeah. Tournamental Pod, uh, right? At Tournamental oh, yeah. Pod, right? We're uh, we're on Stitcher now, um, and a bunch of other stuff. iTunes. Find <laughs> us on iTunes. Yeah, uh, iTunes is the important one. Just just iTunes us, everybody. And then there's also s- is... things like TuneIn Radio. Who knows what that is? Anyway, yeah, for know. all those who are listening to us on TuneIn Radio, thanks, and keep doing it. Or maybe just switch to iTunes. And then there's also the Windows thing, Windows Phone Podcast app, something like that. Uh, um, also, we're on podbean.tournamental.com and um, at tournamental.com. Okay, well, thanks for listening, everybody. Yeah, you're all the like. Goodbye, I love you. Goodbye. Bye, I love you. Hey everybody, just a reminder that everything in Tournamental is fiction. Any actual names of celebrities or copyrighted characters that appear in the show are used for the purpose of parody only. Also, any opinions that we express in the show are solely for the purpose of the game world and may not reflect our actual views or beliefs. Thanks for listening, we really do love you.